All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with a brand new series. I'm so excited about this one, too. Um, so Red Dead Redemption, it dropped on PC. Oh God, I think it was a little over a week or a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, this is a real nostalgia trip for me. This is literally one of the earliest games I remember, like, RPG-wise playing. I played a lot of shooters and stuff when I was very young. But RPG-wise, this is one of the first ones I remember. Um, I played part of it with my older brother. Um, he was the one that got me into gaming when I was young. Just watching him play video games. And I finally got my own console. This is one of the games I cheated a lot. Um, I remember there's a bunch of cheats for it. But one of the first games I remember completely playing by myself. After watching my brother kind of do some of it. But I'm really excited to hop into this. I obviously want to play Red Dead 2. Uh, eventually once I beat this one. Um, I don't know if there will be a game in between those two, but I want to play both of these. Literally both of them are like, from what I've heard, everything from Red Dead 2, all-time great game. And I absolutely loved this game. It's, it's going to be a throwback. I honestly, I don't remember much of the story. It's been so long. It's been a very long time. But uh, I'm excited. I, I, I have nothing but fond memories about the game. So I'm just, I'm super excited. Let's dive right in. Let's play. Oh, oh yeah. So obviously, Red Dead had the DLC Undead Nightmare. Love that as well. Awesome. I'm definitely going to play this after I finish the main campaign. Um, I guess I should preface, we are going to stick to mainly the main story. Because um, it could be like a 60-part a series if I want to explore everything, which is just absurd. So I'm probably going to stick to... It'll still be hour-long parts usually. Um, but we're going to stick to the main, main story pretty heavily. Um, if there is something you want me to check out... Uh, like I said, I don't remember most of it. I just remember the like the the hours I put into it. So I don't remember a lot of the story. But if there's something you want me to check out that like it's super important to look at, be sure to let me know down below. Um, I I'd love to check it out. I love your feedback. Um, I love hearing you guys' thoughts on what I should do. Uh, and th there's so many things I'm gonna miss if 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 I don't get any feedback from you guys, I'm gonna miss it. I'm sorry. So we're gonna stick with normal. I'll create a new save game. It's a, I'm starting from scratch here. Yep. Auto save on. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been such a long time. really good. You gotta think here, the original game was 2010. That's so, that's pretty old now. It's 2024, that's, oh my god, so. Rockstar San Diego production. Blackwater Station. Oh, God, I, I don't remember anything about this game. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, <laughs> I was so psyched for this. I 
for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Okay, we're diving right in. Um, I, I guess I should preface this. I play on PC, like I said, this dropped on Steam. Um, but I do hook up a controller just to make it more feasible to record and everything and play smoothly. If you're playing on keyboard, a lot of times you get some janky movement sometimes. If you're not if you're not very smooth with it, I'm not very smooth with it, so... Oh, run, you have to sprint or tap A, okay. Ooh. This looks really good. I might turn I turn the volume down a little bit. I might turn it back up just a tiny bit. You must be John Marshall. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. We're going right into horse riding, okay. I guess it's a big part of this game, so I guess it should be pretty expected. Like I said, I might, I might, real quick, go back to audio, turn it up just a tiny bit. Well, there's so much stuff to look at. Oh my god. I forgot, it's a pretty decent sized map. Wow. So I believe this... I'm pretty sure this game takes place in like... Late, very late 1800s or beginning of 1900s. 
I mean, this does say 1910, so I think it's around there. What else do we have? I want to see what... I clicked on outfit again. Oh, you can get different outfits. I don't remember this. Weapons, though. A cattleman revolver and a knife. Okay, let's six out of this and follow him. Follow Jake to the horses. Alrighty, Mr. Marson, let's get. I keep on, I keep on expecting to hold uh, the left joystick and sprint. You, you already started running. What are you talking about? Where are we going? Accompany Jake to Fort Mercer. Is he not coming? Oh, we're not going this way. We're crossing the railroad tracks. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit. If you don't mind. Oh, I can match their speed. Who That's handy. I was a decent fella. It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians or... Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> This is a crazy time in U.S. history. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Rio Bravo. I'm trying to read all the hints as well. You ain't very just... talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I'm going to get so lost when I eventually have to find my own way. Instead of following somebody. I hope the waypoint system is pretty good. I don't... I, like I said, there's so much I don't remember. I hope the waypoints actually show you the trail you need to go on or something. It's not just like a point guide. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Almost there, Mr. Marston. Just over this hill. Okay, so you can hold on to it. Come on! You can catch back up here. Yeah, yeah. Fort Listen, Mercer. Mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. Thanks you for the help, Jake. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Am I going to get into a gunfight right away? Because I really want to experience the shooting aspect. Who's there? Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. 
You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Okay, that's one way to do it. Normally, if you're surrounded by three guys, you don't shoot first. Getting helped out by some good Samaritans. That's nice. Okay. Really? That was... Okay, that was technically the first mission. Exodus in America. Okay. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. John Marston, there we Bonnie go. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, See, I remember names right, about this McFarlane. game. I don't remember the story, though. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, let's get right into it. Hello. I have to turn the audio back up a tiny bit. It's just, it's kind of quiet. Is there anything to check around here? Real quick, like I said, options, audio, just not very loud. Oh, there's cheats. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I knew there was cheats. I remember using them back when I first played the game. I don't really remember it, though. That's cool. Okay. I'm not going to mess with that, obviously. I think it disables achievements like those any of those old, old games. It disables achievements. Still got the same stuff. Okay. God, I keep on pressing left trigger or left joystick. I expect that to be sprints every freaking time. Can you, can you not climb over? <laughs> okay, hold up. Okay, you can. X is climb. I'm trying to get the controls down. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Walk with Bonnie. This is a freaking... They they did a good job on the... Uh, is, it, is it called a remaster? There's the foreman's office. This is this a 2010 game originally? For nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, horse I got. Let's see if you can still ride a horse. This is my horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Come on. Hello. Please don't let me hit you. I'm sorry. Right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Okay, Very so I can, I can stop I by there I've later. I've never seen a ranch with its own store before. Got a corral. And here's the corral. This yep. one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train Howdy. station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all Ooh, sorts going the wrong of way. like myself. Yeah. You'll only get lost. Well, I was trying to look at the train station. I can't do both at the same time. Following the train tracks. What are we doing? What are we gonna do? Is it just a tour or are we gonna That's the barn over there? Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Come on, boy! And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Hitch. Okay. Oh, you can save time? a horse. Nice. Go to Bonnie's house. I'm just gonna sprint by you. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up. Ooh, repeater carbine. Range. Nice. Mount my horse. So you can only, like I said, you can only save one horse at a time, but Let's go. is there any difference between open. the horses or is it just an aesthetic? Like she has a pink horse. Is that it? Is it just color wise? Or is one faster or what? Let's go! I mean maybe Thank I need you, to do Mr. a little Marston. research on that. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. 
Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Are we hunting some coyotes? I don't know where we're actually at, like state-wise. Are we in like... Yeah, I have no clue about that, so... I don't know if there's wolves. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. we go. How do I switch weapons? You, there it Mr. is. Marston. Looks like we'll be having rabbit stew tomorrow. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. We switch back to the repeater. Moving. There's still a ways to go. Let's go. Ooh, we have some target practice here. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. I'm just hunting some poor rabbits. Is that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Come on, they're headed for the chicken coop. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's right here. They're getting stuck on the boxes. Did they lose a chicken? We didn't even lose any chicken. Oh, nice. I think we should call it a night. Is that it? These are kind of. I'll show you the way to your room. I mean, they're good intro missions, I guess. Come on. I wish we could go a little quicker. Like I can, I can sprint this freaking horse. You can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Don't Luck aim stuff really at any it, random man. people. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. I need to check out that general store before we call it a night. Here we are. If I even can. Okay, I'm getting stuck on you here. Pitch. Oh, so even if Marston, if I lose the horse, the saved one, as long as it's not dead, presumably. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Presumably, presumably, as long as it's not dead, it'll return to that hitching post. That's pretty cool. Sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Handy. Okay, that's a GTA sound effect right there. <laughs> if you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Current dead eye. Revolver ammo. Before we go to bed, I want to we check out this general store. It's probably closed, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be closed. Oh, you can help on patrol. Nice. No, we're going to do one. We're going to do one of these, then we'll call it a night for... See what happens in the morning. Oh, search with the dog. Okay, it's not a horse patrol, it's a dog patrol. Stop all criminals, criminals you encounter by any means necessary before morning. Let's go to the Cattleman Revolver first. What do you got, buddy? Anybody in the blacksmith?
Oh, it's a horse. I thought there was footsteps near me. My, how long is this follow the dog? Okay. Is he just making roots back and forth? Should I shoot him? They're just fighting. Okay, so I don't need to shoot him. <laughs> Such a weird jump. Foreman's office, and then we'll call it a night. See what happens in the morning. Hello there. I thank you. Do we get money out of this? Like just more honor? Yeah, money. Okay, nice. Twenty-four. Oh, outfit menu. Menu entry, sorry. We'll take a look at this before we go to bed. Outfits. Gentleman's attire. Oh, so you need to wear this to play into high-stake poker games. What else we get? Oh, there's a hunter one. Oh, so it's literally hunt hunting animals. Undiscovered. Is everything undiscovered for the most part? Oh, this is one of them at the Baller Twins. Okay. Yeah, for now. I, I honestly like the basic outfit anyways, so let's go to bed here. Save game. We'll probably I'll probably do a bunch of those off camera. Yes, current Let's see what we got. B, I assume that's Bonnie over here. I should probably bring my horse, just in case. If we're doing on any more patrols. Yeah. Ooh, it's so quick. Got a hitch out here or something, or what? I guess I can take this one. So green icon is a house where... Uh, I guess the options are a camp or a safe house. And I guess the letters are people for missions. Bonnie for this one. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh... Come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Well, there's horse races? Heck yeah. So, obviously there's gambling. I'm not going to do much of that because I suck at... All right, I suck I'll at gambling. All right, I'll say how we ride around these parts. 
Let's get to it, get to it, get to it. Go to the Come race on, start. Come on. So it's gonna be waypoint system like GTA, isn't it? On the count of three. I'm gonna three, lose this probably watching. Two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Mr. Farland! Come. Hey, what? I've already lost this. Come on. What? It's a freaking... What? Hold up. What? Let's go. <laughs> My On horse died. Three. Can three, you exhaust your horse two, to death? One, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Mr. McFarland! Don't get cocky and lose now. Come on. Are you saving the best for last? Yeah. I'm out of stamina. I've lost this. Let's go. Ending at. Let's pick up the pay. Come on. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. How long is this freaking race? There's so much chance to lose here. Yeah. Absurdly long horse race. Just sprint to the end. There we go. I choked on a couple of those corners there and wasted my stamina. Wow. <laughs> That's tougher than I thought it would be. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think's best, Mr. Marston. What's next? Do we do we get money for that? Journal. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we can talk to Marshall Johnson. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff to do. I could do some Bonnie stuff. I might do one more Bonnie thing. See what happens. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? 
Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you Ooh, mind yes. riding with me to Armadillo? That's perfect. I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. That's it wouldn't perfect. do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> okay, I need to go to take Armadillo anyways. Come on. Drive the wagon to Armadillo. See, okay, it does actually you're have like. Much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, Miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, Miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, Miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I'm going to swing wide around these guys. I really need to do a little bit of hunting. Will you stop playing with your gun and watch the road? You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. Oh, God. Guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I begin to stop messing about and get into Armadillo. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Let me learn how to drift this thing. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to, used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country, where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right? You well, can reverse? He still no. may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear oh dear, there Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? There's no way you can reverse a horse with a wagon so this set is up. Just, I don't believe that. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Okay, we need to talk to the marshal here anyways. This is perfect mission to carry on with. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Good thing I got some money for First helping out. Oh, Thank okay. You, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Well, look at you. I hear them damn Indians have been attacked. Doctor's office? No Not more, feeling please. ill, I hope. Need some Hello, friend. Ooh, medicine. First one's free. Can I sell anything? I don't have anything. I assume I can go hunting and, uh... Chewing tobacco? Is that healing stuff? Like... I want to buy... Any food items I can afford. That's perfect. Like I said, I assume you can, uh... Open your satchel. War horse? What is this? Wait, what? This is consumables. Oh, you can make a bank. Oh, okay. This is cool. I'm not going to use that yet. It looks like a consumable. But I'm going to check it all out. I, I assume you can go hunting well, those, what I was going to say, and sell that me. stuff. Sell the meat. It was nice to be able to enjoy Get some money out of this. Once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can be. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. 
Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Okay, so I need to meet some Marshall Johnson, right? I believe it is. If this is how a remastered 2010 game looks... Yeah, stagecoaches. I can't wait to actually see what Red Dead 2 looks like. I, like I said, I've not played Red Dead 2 at all. At least I've finished this game in the past. I don't remember it much, but I've at least played it. Oh, you can purchase property or rent. Looks like there's uh, some gambling game. Protecting yourself. How are you, friend? There you go. Ooh. Oh my God! You can definitely buy some good weapons. Three fifty. I can't afford anything. Bait, I assume, is for hunting. I can buy a volcanic... I, I can't buy it, but I... It's something you can buy. Can't Thanks afford any of this stuff. Poker. Okay. Oh, first off. I know I said I wouldn't mess with it, but I gotta play one game of poker. Oh, sorry, sir. I gotta play one game of poker. If my daddy had heard Is it upstairs? I might have been able to find a better pursuit. Watch yourself there. Five finger fillet. I don't know what that is. Where's poker at? Whoever built you knew what he was doing. Hey, handsome. Are you busy? Dude, where's where's the poker game at? Map. I want to, I guess, zoom in quite a bit here. That is poker, right? Is there a back room? Oh, there is. Nice. Oh, you need $25. <laughs> no. Oh, dang it. Okay, we're not doing that. Change of plans. Where are the other... I'm going to look at the other waypoints around here. Let's look at the other waypoints. What are these? So this is Five Finger Filet. Stagecoach. General Store. Doctor's Office. That's Marshall. Movie House. Let's go check out uh, Five Finger Filet. I assume that's a dangerous game. Who are you talking to like that? Tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Ooh, melee combat. Yes. I spent my life proving fools like you wrong. How do we... Are we shooting or are we fighting? Fist fighting. Oh, it's a, it's a gun duel. Okay. You've accepted a duel. Press A to skip the tutorial. Nope, not doing that. Draw your to draw your gun, use LT. Alternatively, move your hand towards your gun using... Okay. That was a duel. That's it? I get more ammo, at least. Loot body. <laughs> oh, God. I don't... Wait, was that a bad deed? He, he challenged me. Real, real quick. How do you check, uh, stats? Oh, so I have no bounty or anything. Okay, good. No assaults. Yep, okay. I do have the money to play a hand of poker. Let's do five finger flay and we'll go play poker. I have no clue what this game is. It's gonna be some, like, accidentally stab yourself game, isn't it? Can I not play this game yet? Why, well, hello there. Why, hello. Oh, is this not available yet? Okay. So let's go back into the poker room. We'll play one hand. Now that I have the money from a duel. You care to see if luck is your lady? Wait, what? I need 25. Don't I? I have 23. Are you joking? I thought it said I gained 23. I guess that dude only had... Like, five dollars. Dang it, I can't do anything. 
Got to do some other way to make some money around here. Forget it. We'll just go to uh, the Marshall first. Movie house. I assume that's just going to be a see a movie. I don't want to spend money on that. Talk to the sheriff. Or Marshall. Which one? Excuse me. Hey. Hey. You got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <coughs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. So you're gonna fight some drunk guys? I think I can handle it. I know where the saloon is. I was trying to play some poker with those guys we're about to go beat up, probably. Who are we just... looking for? What? Led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement.
dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. We get on horses? Mount up, Marston. Walton's Ooh, okay, so you can whistle for Damn, a horse. He's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Let's go. We gotta follow him. Oh, actually take the right turn Let's here. Go. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna push ahead of him a little bit. Come on. I'm gonna waste my stamina. Oh, that's where he's going to a house. There better not be stealth missions in a Wild West video game. I can't remember, but I ain't trying to sneak around. I'm trying to get in a gunfight. Oh, my first gunfight. This hill. Gonna rip your ear off. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. Behind the crate, Marston. Come, liquor. You ain't that tough, Walton. Hellfire. You're outnumbered, Marshal. I ain't got no time for nonsense. Is he dead? You best shoot me now or this is over! Me. Use my cowboy repeater, this kinda sucks. Oh, that dude's already dead. What am I doing? Is that Walton? There we go. Inside the house. Let's see if we can take him alive. I loot these guys first. Okay. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Okay, we took him alive. I want to loot those guys first. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Oh, I think I can. Check in next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah, let me loot these guys real quick. Check out his house there. Yeah. We're getting close to a wrapping up point for this mission, or for this part. First part of this playthrough. Let me loot all these guys as quick as I can, though. Give me that money. There we go. Both of them. There's more guys over here. Oh, there's an X on the map for dead bodies. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. So we got 48 bucks. I can actually play a poker game. Well, uh, there's a freaking gunfight going on over there. Let me check the back side of this house and I'll go join that gunfight. Can I steal your horse? Where's this gunfight at?
What have we got here? Loot all their stuff first, get all that money. Sixty-one dollars. I can play a couple couple games of poker. What does this uh What does this guy want? There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. So he's a treasure I'll hunter. Take this off your hands, my friend. Wait, treasure hunter. Where where is it at? Uh, is it in journal? Oh, okay. So it's in the kit menu. Treasure map. Uh, I gotta see what this is. Ooh, that is useless. Okay. It said New Austin, though. So. Did did it not say that in the challenge? Look, let's look at that journal. Challenges, treasure hunter. View the map and try to locate the treasure somewhere in New Austin. Okay, so let me head back to New Austin then. Can I get my horse back? I kind of want the black horse. It was very cool looking. There he is. Let's head back to New Austin real quick. So if I'm a good person, good deeds. Large and small. So we're gonna head to New Austin. We're probably not gonna do anything in New Austin for this part. I just wanna. Oops, sorry. That's why I got bucked off. I just killed his stamina in the first try. Um, I do wanna check out the. See if I can find this treasure. Treasure location. Just real quick. I won't spend a lot of time on it. But if there's something good, good money or a weapon, that'd be nice. I might have to do a little research on, like, the best weapons to get. Yeah. Can I play? Ooh, can oh, yes, I can play it. I can play this game now. What is it? How do we play it? Got the balls for a game of finger fillet. Yes, yes, I do. Sure. Five finger fillet. Beats chasing outlaws. So what am I doing? Get an intro to it. Put down your dust. Ah, uh, change bet. Let's bet. Oh, I can only bet five. Okay. Let's put money on. on my blade. How do you do? Howdy. Good, but not good enough. Okay. So you want to keep going. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I have to press it a little. You got luck. Watch this. So I have five lives, I guess. All right, there. Hello. That's the best you got. There we go. I won some free money. That was that was not hard. On, I, I assume Who's up next? more difficult games. Oh wait, are we playing again? Howdy. I'm down. Let's do it. I assume more difficult games are going to be different different What's keys. I can bet ten. Yeah, why? Let's go for Hope it. You know what you're doing. Well, I'll be done. So A B A Y A B A Y A B. This is gonna be easier than I thought. Oh no! You done me hell! You ain't that bad! Yeah, those keys aren't that difficult. I thought we were trying to do this quickly. Ah, damn it! No way! Careful, ah, oh, dang it! Hello. Dang it! I messed. I choked. Right Jesus Christ! God. Dang it! I'm choking right now. I had it up here. There we go. Fine. I I choked so badly. Let's quit this game. 
We're getting some free money, though. It's not super difficult. I just wonder how many games there actually is of it. Oh, hello. oh so you, larger bets are more difficult. What's the max you can go? You can go 25? Oh, that's going to be impossible. Yes, I want to quit. I think we're at a quitting point for this part. Um, I'm probably actually going to start the next part back in... Jesus, just started attacking somebody. That was crazy. Everybody, everybody's running. That didn't count as a stat for uh, an assault, did it? Okay, no, good. Thank God. So is there anything else? I don't have a lot of money. I might play some more Five Finger Play uh, off camera. Just to mess around. Uh, see if I can win some good money. But I think next time... I don't know if we're going to start in this city. Let's take a look at the map. I kind of want to start with... Uh, McFarlane's Ranch first. Do Bonnie McFarlane. What is the red train icon? Oh, is that just where the train is currently? That's pretty handy. So Great Plains is where Marston's house is. Or his property's at. But I, I think eh, maybe I'll stay in Armadillo for now. Do uh, Marshall Johnson. At some point, I, I obviously got to head back to Bonnie. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.